I Saw the Devil was released in 2010 and was directed by Ji Woon Kim. And the movie is basically a revenge thriller about a man uh, getting revenge on a serial killer who killed his pregnant fiance by catching and releasing him several times. I do think that concept is probably the most interesting part of the movie because uh, a lot of these revenge thrillers, the protagonist and the antagonist end up uh, meeting more than likely in the late second act or the third act. Uh, in this movie, they meet much further ahead of that, and like I said, it is about uh, him playing mind games in revenge by catching and releasing the serial killer. And the killer is played by Choi Min Sik, which I do apologize if I'm getting these pronunciations wrong. I am not great with them, but uh, it is the same actor who is the lead in Old Boy. And he easily gives the best performance in the movie. I think that he is very believably terrifying in it. He does a fantastic job being this intimidating presence, this unhinged person where you don't know really what he's going to do or you're scared that he's going to kill someone just because he feels like it or whatever. Choi Min Sik does a great job as this character. Uh, it's very interesting to see him as a villain in the movie in comparison to Old Boy, especially. And then the man who's hunting him, the protagonist, is played by Lee Byung Hun, who I have not seen in a movie before, but he also gives a really good performance in this movie. Uh, he does a really good job at kind of hiding all this anger and grief just under the surface of this like kind of stoic ish character so I think he does a really good job but this movie if you are interested in watching this movie uh, this movie is incredibly violent it is one that made me squirm a little bit more than I thought it would yeah it is incredibly violent there are some very graphic scenes there are some very unsettling scenes but it also does work within the context of the movie because you do have someone getting revenge on someone who actively tries to kill people and those deaths are not pleasant, of course, because it's from a very demented character in person. But I think this movie is very well made. I liked, like I said at the beginning, the structure and the concept of the story. It's very entertaining and uh, uh, the script is also really entertaining because there is this dynamic of these power plays between the protagonist and antagonist throughout the movie and who's kind of going to come out on top, who's going to win uh, throughout it, which I think keeps it really interesting. I had originally expected it to be more of a mystery in a way, but uh, I do like the way that they approach this and it kind of differentiated itself a little bit from some other movies. So I really like that aspect of it. I think that it's very well directed, very well acted. Like I said, I like the story a lot. I don't really have many problems with it. Um, I think it's a very entertaining movie. The action in it, it is, it's brutal, but it is surprising, surprisingly compelling to watch. And it is very entertaining. But like I said, I do think this is a good movie. As far as what I kind of thought it would be like, I thought it would be more similar to like Bong Joon-ho's Memories of Murder. But like I said, I do like that it is different from that. But I would say that Memories of Murder is a better movie by a significant margin. I do think this is a really good movie. I think it's a good revenge thriller. I recommend watching it, especially if you're wanting to get into South Korea's modern movies that they've been making for the last two decades or so, because they've been making some really good movies, and I think that this should be on the list if you are into watching their movies. But I'm going to be rating I Saw the Devil a 9.0 out of 10. I think this is a very good revenge thriller. I do recommend it. It is fresh. It is brutal, but it is a really good movie. And have you guys seen this movie? What did you think about it? Let me know, and I'll be back with another video.